Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this tutorial, guys, we will make a very simple HTML template, which will give you a better idea that how to design a template using HTML and CSS. Firstly, I want to show you the template what I have already made. I'll op open it. Now you can see this is a very simple template. A cool navigation, top navigation, there is sidebar, content. This is a very simple template and it will give a better idea to the beginners who have, ju who have just learned HTML and CSS. It will give you a give you a better idea that how to design a template using HTML and CSS. So guys for this I'm using Dreamweaver. It will speed up our coding. So firstly I'll get a folder. I give it the name of template. I make three, four, two folders here, one for CSS file and uh, one for images. Firstly guys, I'll copy this image from here. I'll copy it and I'll paste it here. Now guys, I will open my Adobe Dreamweaver CS3. You can use any version. Now guys, our Dreamweaver has been opened. Now we are creating a HTML document, so we click on HTML, and now you can see doc type HTML and title means our simple HTML document has been already created. We have to give styling to it. So firstly, we'll create it. Oh, sorry, save it. Control S, and I will save it inside template. And I will give it the name of index.html. So, guys, I will open it in browser. Now you can see this button. Preview in uh, Firefox, or you can press F12 from your, from your keyboard. I will press. This is a very plain document. Uh, firstly, I will give it a title. All right, uh, WebSoftTutorials.com. Now you can see the title is here. Now guys we will create our CSS file so I will go to file create a new file and click on this CSS create and now I will uh, press control S and I will save it inside CSS folder so I will give it a name of style.css which CSS is the extension of CSS file so firstly guys I will include it inside my HTML document link href now guys you can see it will give you help now click on this button browse click on this tile let me check it again index yeah this is my correct CSS file and type relation now you can see that guys that it is giving you help which will increase your speed of designing a template so firstly guys I will remove all this and I will enter body firstly I will just set the style of body I will give it a uh, font family the font family I will set it to URL and uh, I will make a div tag which will wrap all the content I will give it a more wrapper you can give any name so I will give it a border of one pixel solid and uh, width of 970 pixels which is a standard size to design a template so I'll open it in browser oh, I will use this wrapper tag here guys we are using external CSS file so div ID wrapper which we have created or if it will not appear here now you can now you can type manually wrapper and close it and and of wrapper tag this is a comment to display that this is the end of the stack so I will refresh it now you can see it's 970 pixels of width 
so I want to make it in center you will see you can you see that every template is in the middle of the page so I will enter margin oh, sorry margin auto property if I refresh now you can see it is in the center but you will see some space at top uh, so to adjust the space or remove this extra space we will enter in the body tag margin to zero padding to zero if I refresh now you can see the extra space has been removed I want to tell you one more thing I want to tell you about one more CSS selector there is star asterisk whatever you want to say if I will enter any properly like enter margin zero padding zero then it will enter uh, add a margin zero padding zero to every div element in HTML page so our IV we have created a wrapper so now we are creating a header for nav I give it a border one pixel solely but in the end of the tutorial we will remove all the border I'm just uh, using borders to clear you div id equal to header and uh, don't forget to use commands because if we will make a large web page HTML web page then it will sometime difficult to you I don't know difficult for you to identify the where the which tag and where we are closing uh, means where the closing tag or I refresh now you can see mm -hmm. I'll give it a height height of 100 pixels now you'll see this is our header so guys I wanna make another list means we want to make a nav so I will enter you up I will enter a href for anchor tag I will enter home means links to other pages I will enter about about us enter services and uh, port folio and uh, then uh, contact us if I refresh now you can see the vertical bar has been created but we want in it in a horizontal way so firstly guys we will remove the height property from the header it will automatically adjust its height according to the content so it's contact us not contact us contact us no, it's right so guys I'm gonna tell you more about the create a header and ul means it will this CSS property will work only for those on order list which is inside header tag now you will see I will it's margin to zero padding or we can't we if we will not set it because it we have already set it through a static ID selector so we will specify list style type none if I will refresh now you will see the dots or uh, disk sign has been removed in the same way header ul ul li means which list is inside another list and which another list is inside head attack it will set this property only for another list which is inside this header tag if I lose another list outside header tag then with it with this CSS properties will not work because guys the situations will be arise where we will we will uh, where we need to use another list again and again we will use in this template also so it will be clarified to you to you that why you are using another list again and again so List type time now and uh, as inside I, I will enter its font size and send to 14 pixels. 
I place four sides and I will give it a float of. Light.